started installing my machine into its enclosure and I just had to see it move. I still have to wire up the Y axis. I haven't even started rewiring that yet. Uh, the wires for the Y axis are absolutely horrible. There were the first ones I ever did two years ago and they, uh, they're not good. So I'm gonna rewire those hopefully tomorrow. But for now, we have X working. So much quieter than the last machine. I don't know if it's because it's more rigid or what. Let's see if I can move the Z axis. Oh man, it's always so much fun. All right, so what do I have left? Uh, obviously I need to do something about my carriage. Uh, I designed these brackets for a cable tray. Uh, I'll throw the link to Thingiverse in the description for those. They just bolt on to the rail. There's plenty of clearance over here. Uh, you don't have to worry about hitting them. The uh, DeWalt, the spindle, I think, will hit the side before the machine hits the bracket. Yep, sure enough. And then my plan is to go in here and put one screw on each end or a bolt to hold it to the bracket. I was using zip ties on the last one. This one, uh, these brackets are better. So I think I want to design those or actually bolt them on instead of using quite as many zip ties. I'll still use zip ties to hold the cable chain to the bottom of the bracket. But you can see I don't have a lot of room back there. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. I don't have a lot of room back there for trying to squeeze uh, too many zip ties in between the the cable run and the core. I want it to be a lot cleaner than the last one. So, as you learn how to design stuff, you slowly learn how to design things better. But you can still see the original stepper cable hooked up to that one, and this one was so bad that when I took it apart, I just clipped it. I didn't even bother trying to to save the wire. So. A lot of work to go. And that's that.